I guess when I think back to how we grew up, it was just normal to, you know, get our eggs from chickens and be surrounded by cattle. We had pheasants, we had turkeys, and I just remember the sort of cycle of the seasons. You know, you'd get a big batch of chicks and the baby chicks and the baby turkeys and you just watch them grow really fast and then learning from a young age, you know, there's a circle of life. Learning that that's where your food comes from and how that sort of impacts the food cycle. My name is Montana and I am 30 years old and we are in Port Coquitlam and I am a university student and a mother. I'm really into gardening, anything plant related, growing related. I love to hike and I love doing that with my daughter, putting her in the backpack and exploring. I think we live in a world that unfortunately is very exploitative. Part of that is, you know, that's the cost of convenience is it's, it's really wonderful that we can have all of these things to eat throughout the year. However, it's not really the way <laughs> it's intended to be and I think it's really important to remind myself and bring my daughter up in a way that she's learning that there's there's things that you can do close to home and you know respecting the cycles of the season whether that's foraging whether that's growing things in a garden whether that's picking berries there are things that only certain seasons offer and I think that can make an appreciation of food and make it more special and you know something that's just true. Growing up with uh, a family of hunters it was just normal to me that you'd have a freezer full of meat. I saw how much uh, happiness it brought to my parents to be able to go out and do that. Most of my friends, their parents were hunters and it was just so normal and natural to me. And so I've just always, always appreciated that that can be a place where we got our food. When I think about hunting, that's a small but a really important way of finding that balance of, okay, how can we still exist and live our lives, but make conscious efforts to move forward in a way that is so centered around protection and conservation and just being really mindful of the small choices we can make and I think that if you can get meat from hunting or from a farmer and just limiting that really long chain of where the food comes from, I think if you can do that that's really great and I think it's more meaningful than, than people know. Both my fiance and I would, would love to start hunting. It's something we've already started talking about because yeah, I would, love, I would love to do it. And for my daughter to grow up eating meat that comes from hunting. If I say I hunt, am I what you picture? We're not as different as you may think. 